Here go my medicine. I can wait till 3.30 anyways, he said. Right. He'll be out of court at 3.30. Thirty-three. Yeah, hold on one sec. I got this going. Set it down. I got the stream up. What's up, guys? Ready? You gonna put yourself on the bell? Anything else? We got the remote. Mm -hmm. It's this one. Ooh, what's up, Jose? An adult with children. An adult with children. This is perfect. Let me see here. I hope they can more on at work. I got a question. I need help. Somebody want to come on and help me? I need advice. I know what to do. We need advice. Come on, man. Oh, cool. Hey, what? Hey, Martin. How's it going, sir? How you doing? I'm doing very good. How about you? Pretty good. I can barely hear you today. <laughs> Something's wrong with my microphone. I'm not sure. My phone. Oh, I've on, oh, Jose's listening. So, Friday, my wife had had surgery. Mm hmm And while we were prepping for surgery, um. They, I, I got an email from, I have an evaluation for my mental health, um, which is, which I've been ex waiting for, waiting for, waiting for, waiting for, kind of excited. We finally got it, but, um, it, it came literally while my wife was getting ready for, for, um, prepping for surgery. So I didn't give it much thought mm -hmm. after surgery, the, the, the nurse is talking to me. She's, you know, um, on what we need to do. You know, you know, twenty minute walks for my wife. You know, help help her up and down, bathing and all the, all the stuff. What I what I need to do, and I realized um, I can't leave her. The the nurse said, you know, um, gave the care instructions to family. Martin Cabello. Martin Cabello agrees to do the home care. Right. The nurse signed off in the thing in the notes. Martin Cabello agreed to do the home care. So now I'm debating. Um, I, I, I didn't realize there was all, 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 all that stuff was involved uh, in the home care or, 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 or stuff or whatever. So I don't know if I'm going to make my appointment or not. So I was talking to me and my wife were have, having anxiety about it, about um, me making that appointment or not. And I told my wife, I was like, I've, I've, I've made every appointment that they scheduled for me when, when they had me go down there um, to the court, they actually, um, had asked if I uh, to go. Um, I don't know what you call it. Detain myself, and I drove. I drove myself to the jail, and, and and they had my wife come bail me out. Like so, I'm I'm not. It's not like I'm avoiding it. I just don't know how how to accommodate both things. But I'm waiting mm -hmm. for the attorney to call, call me back at three thirty after three thirty. But what do you guys? What do you think? You guys type some suggestions on there. Hmm. But um, in the email it says uh, I asked. You know because it was such short notice. Can I bring my wife with me? Because she's in my care now because the doctor placed her in my care. Can I bring my wife with me? And they were like, as long as she doesn't interfere with the process. And I'm like, well, I have to take her to the thing. I got to take her to the bathroom or, you know, if some, something, you know, I got to do things. The nurse put her in my care. Yeah. You're really in a tight situation. You have to take care of your wife, but then you have to... How are you... Are you... How are you? Are you not struggling with this? It seems like you know very. Oh, I am. I don't. I, I, so he, 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 here's what's the cra crazy part is, uh, 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 I, 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 yeah, I don't. I don't have a freaking clue. This is my autism. I used to like I, I, where she had her surgery at. They, they I, I actually got um autism treatment at at the at the hospital where she had um where she had her surgery. They actually, 
they got they're really like they they have they and I'm not sure they used to I, I haven't called them in a long time but they used to have a department uh, be, behind where my wife had her her surgery at that was for autism behavioral health is a good Samaritan behavioral health something or other mm. but um what 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 would you do I didn't know so when I got the email I uh, you don't know they're going to be placing somebody you know, I didn't know all those extra things. I mean, I knew some of it and, and I, th I thought it would be kind of like the same as me. Like if you like literally, they're like, if you can drive right after surgery, you can drive yourself home. So, and this is some, when, when my wife was, when I got the email, my wife was having her surgery. I was thinking it was the same as for when they give me surgery. Like they did surgery on my throat, took my adenoids out, my uvula. I got neck surgery and I drove my family home from Seattle. Hmm. I'd like literally uh, just in case I didn't wake up. So we had additional, like I had my neck surgery. That's what I was thinking. My wife's like, she'll have her surgery, come home. It'll be no big deal. When I got my neck surgery, my foster kids were with me and we had a backup plan for new foster parents just in case my surgery didn't go correctly. But mm -hmm. since it went fine, I literally got all my gear, my equipment back from whatever and drove everyone home right after surgery. So I thought it was going to be like that, but. So it's not it's not then yeah when i had my and i had the my throat surgery i went literally i had throat surgery at like seven o'clock and i went to work at 7 30 and this guy steve hollis was like what are you doing here i was like they said i go to work they're, they're like he was like no that's not like literally he called he's he like you guys say he can come to work they're like yeah he's got autism if he wants to go to work he can go to work and steve was like i don't care you got to go home Wait, my store manager made me go home. Mm. But that's why that's why I think like I thought it was gonna be like that, but I guess it's not. Yeah. Someone always goes with you. Well, I tried. I try. I, 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 yeah. No, I understand a professional. Uh, 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 so I wait for professional help from your or advice from your attorney. Oh, I get that. I understand that your attorney always wants to make you. You know, their professional advice is never miss anything. You know, a good attorney is going to try and tell you never miss anything. A good attorney, they're like, don't miss anything. Try not to, you know, don't, don't, it doesn't look, I mean, it's hard. I mean, they got a schedule. They got other people to deal with. A good attorney is going to tell you don't miss nothing. But I just need advice. Mm. Wow. You have a lot in your plate right now. Yeah. It is what it is. Avoid Austin. Mario Chavez. Well, it's out of custody. Here's the thing: like, they, I'm not a threat. They already deemed they deemed me not a threat or whatever. So it's it's no jail time. They had me literally. They had me go, like, they I drove myself to jail. I drove myself in, and then they they checked me right out immediately. They used to have these um, numbers on the doors. I, I worked, I used to work there when I was like, when I was younger and they used to have, um, yeah, it's a mental, at a, at a court mental health assessment. I used to go there for um, my meltdowns with autism. I used to go there, like take myself there. And they let me, literally, they let me go and they put me in a little cell there. Just like calm myself down. <laughs> Straight up. I just had the um. I used to think take myself there. This was I used to take myself there during my meltdowns. Yeah. You know, like it was part of my whatever stimming routine. You know, you have a, a a routine for things. It was part of my thing was was go, going there, and um, I I ended up I ended up getting a job. It was the greatest thing in the whole world. Really? Huh? Wait, they did what to you? I so I, I used to have mel I have autism, so I used to have freakouts, really bad freakouts, really bad. Plus, I have PTSD and, and things like that, so I'd have really bad I have really bad anxiety. When, it was really bad when I was a kid. 
Oh my gosh. But um, they'd let me go down there and, and, and um, go, ch I, they'd let me go there. As, I don't know who set it up. I would go there and they would, you know, I'd get in a room and they literally, they put me in a room. I do some exercises. They feed me and literally, let me out in like an hour or two hours. Get, and um, they start like some, I don't know who set it up. It was for my autism. And they start talking to me and um, I made friends. It took a long time. I made friends and um, they give me a job. When I, when, when, when I was little, man, I could all you ever want to be is a police officer or, or a fireman or, you know, military. That's it, man. But yeah, the whole, like, X, same for me. I feel like they watch someone have, have me, have me read. I don't know what that is. I feel like they watch someone have a meltdown. They would have a reason to hold you for some random. No, hey, Jace, no, no. Um, This is what I don't understand. You know, like a dunk tank in, 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 in the old, in, in, before your generation, or, you know, in not, in not even that long ago, they had these things called dunk tanks where just people who are drunk and obnoxious or like the police, they just take you in, lock you up, tell you calm down, sobered up and then they literally just let you go home no no jail no arrest i mean you're in there but i mean they're not arresting you they're just literally making sure you you have some time to gather yourself like literally doing the community service it's called a dunk tank but they use why don't they, they use do them that for, um, huh why don't they do that anymore that seems very smart well see that's what i'm saying they 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 they, they i i shouldn't say they i don't know if they don't anymore for that, but they do it for um, like, I like I said, I have meltdowns. So not just for not just for um, people who are drunk. They did it for for I mean, it, literally, I could go down there. I'm like, they're like, what's what's literally? They're like, what's wrong? I'm like, ah! <laughs> like I look. I was running there one time. Like um, EB, I had to go to EB Walker. Um, sorry, I had to I had to go to this new school. Um, and I I, I had to let my wife helped me with my homework and oh my gosh in the beginning it was like make the hair on the back of my neck stand up and i like i could go in there and just <gasps> and and literally somebody would be like it's all right don't worry have you done any push-ups have you done any squats and i do push-ups and squats and then they give me some food and let me go. Oh. Sometimes I run down there from the Pelop High School. I ended. Up, I went to the Pelop High School for for a while, not very long, but um, I could run to the Pelop Police Station from the from the Pelop High School when I was when I was upset. It's just quiet. You don't understand. Like it's a brick. Like it's quiet. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Like I said. I, when I got the email, I hadn't spoke. The nurse hadn't sat down with me and told me all of the things that I was going to need to do. Basically, so then after I so I immediately got the email and said, "Yeah, no problem, not a big deal." Like it wasn't a big deal in my mind. Yeah, no big deal. And then um, the nurse sat down was with me and was like, you, you know, telling me things, and I start like, "This isn't like my surgeries." This isn't just like you're gonna have surgery and you go to work, you, you know. So then I was like, mm. so then I uh, was talking about it with my wife, and I just emailed them, and I was like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it. I was like, my, you be like, well, first I said I was, but then I like, yeah, I'm sure it was confusing as all get out. I'm sure it was just confusing as all get out. <laughs> I tried. I don't. I have a communication issue already, so. My emails are big run, run on. My sentences are big run on sentences. Yeah, no problem. Huh? I say, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Well, that's it. I just, you know, not sure how to handle it. I think that I, I, what's up, Alberto? I think the responsible thing to do is if she, if, if she's if because literally she's she's my caretaker and I'm her caretaker, 
Yeah. The, the, the responsible thing would be to wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? well, your wife is number one. All right. Yeah. Will you go? I, I want to go. I, so I, I told him I, w- I would. I go to everything, but I'm not really sure how my, like, I don't, I got, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, will you be able to talk to them, tell them what's going on? I, I, I'm, I already tried to. I'm, that's so confusing. So I, I, I tried to convey it on the phone. Oh, and, and, and since it's a mental health assessment, I sent them copies of my books so they can, you know, obviously they're going to need that for part of the mental health. But I, I think it's because they don't like my posts. <laughs> yeah, because it goes um like against, you know, modern religion and like, you know, science that we know today. Yeah, but it, I don't think it goes against them. And this, no, for like dumb, it, it, they it, think it is like, because say, um, you know, they're Christians, they don't really study basically just believing off this one religion. And you're telling them that uh, the sun is able to turn water into wine. They're not going to believe that. They're going to think that, you know, you're just lying, making up lies. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, here, here, and that's the interesting part. It, you, you have to actually, um, you know, it's funny at church where you were saying that the water turns to wine. It's funny that you said that. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, in church they were doing it um the, the the service and everything like that and they said that and the miracles of faith and literally my brain went um not for the hardy boys and i had to get my phone out and google the hardy boys to see if that was a real thing because i really remembered when i was going through school because i'm different teaching me was different than teaching other people like i was thick right hard hard to learn um mm. the, the miracles of faith the, it was a miracle of faith, and the, one of the one of the teachers would go, not for the Hardy Boys, Hardly Boys. If you had the intelligence for, as the Hardy Boys, <laughs> Hardly Boys, literally. It was, it was like, and the miracles of faith. It was, how, how does it happen? The water, sun turns water into wine. The mir- you don't know how? Well, pfft, the Hardy Boys do. The Hardy Boys know everything. They were like some um, comic book, comic book. Uh, um, like uh, Sherlock Holmes type stuff for kids. Not for the hard, not for the Hardy Boys. Something they should so do that. Too. It's like the miracles of faith. I'm like, not for the Hardy Boys. And then I'm like, I gotta check if that's real. Is it really? Hard? Yep, I remember. Yeah, they should do that for churches. Like, actually, like demonstrate how water is turned into wine. Or actually, I can turn on my headphones a bit. Hold on. My wife is listening to share. So, hey, uh, guess what, though? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Wow, it sounds uh, very good. Oh, oh, this is way better. Um, since my wife is hurt, I got I got to do laundry. <laughs> no, but I'm taking time for myself. I mean, you've been whining and dining all, all yesterday and today. Take a little bit. Yeah, uh, so, um, you know, but we have both uh, have a little bit of OCD. So mm-hmm. I tend to throw, like, colors and whites. Everything goes in, like, all the colors, just or all the whites, right? And as long as there's enough water, as long as there's enough water and soap, um, I don't, I don't, I don't really have a problem. Yeah, um, and, you know, it's, you know, different people, different strokes, different people. My wife likes uh, white towels or, or you know what I mean colors like that and I'll, I'll put like there's white shirts with white towels white bathroom towels with, with white kitchen towels with my white socks like whites is whites to me everything that's white bro that I am literally the same you know colors yeah, yeah so it's like uh everything that's like so everything that's everything that's tanner than this right here is considered a color anything that's darker than this shade uh um so I don't have to worry about like if something's a pink and it can't do whatever. If 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 it's darker than this shade, it's considered a color and it all goes together. The, my, my wife doesn't like that. The towels have to go separate. So, um, so I, I got I got to I got to do laundry the old the, the way I do. It's just a, it's just nice for me and her in our relationship because then she's like, who taught you how to do laundry? 
I'm like, no one. It's like, no one. I, for reals. It's like um, um, boxcar children. I, um, I, got a, I, got a, I got a job, um, earned some money, and, and bought me and my brother, uh, brothers, Augie and Josh, a washer, washer and dryer. And um, I did not know you have to, like, really muddy clothes, you have to rinse them. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you have to rinse them. So the first washing machine I, I bought, I broke it. Literally. <laughs> I broke it in like four days. But I, I, I was like, um, God, I wasn't even, I wasn't even a teenager then. So then I, um, I was like, I, 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 uh, the, the sheriff's, the police department, um, I just want to talk about like people like my autism, the, the sheriff's department came out, the fire department, police department, all these different, um, DSHS, all these different places came out and, um, they first they offered, um, for me to live with, live, like live with my grandparents on my dad's side of the family. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was uh, like, literally, you're going to, this is crazy. They're like, uh, uh, you can li go with your pa grandparents or you can stay here by yourself and it'll be the hardest thing you ever did in your life. Like yada, yada, yada. And so like I, I, I literally, that we have this little porch and I'm on the side of the porch with the window open, talking to the, talking to the police and the sheriff. So I said, what, what do you mean? It'll be like hard. Like what, like <laughs> I can get a paper. I will hold on baby. Oh, hold on. I got to help my wife up. Yeah, of course. That I can do. No, oh, baby, they don't care about the pee. I'm going to help you up. Ready? Use your hands. Ready? You ready? Okay. Anyways, there's a... Uh, um, Police officers like, it'll be the hardest thing you ever did in your life. And me and my brothers are like, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? I got a pen and a paper, in my little journal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little pen, a little pen and a paper. And um, they're like, you got it. You're gonna have to make breakfast. You're gonna somebody's gonna have to get up. Somebody's gonna have to mow the lawn. Someone gotta clean the gut. I mean, they're making a whole list of things. <laughs> they're like, uh, whether you're sick or not, someone gonna someone gotta make sure things is done. It doesn't matter. Someone got to do it. It don't matter. And they went on forever, forever. Me and my brothers just sitting in there like, okay. So it's like, okay, no like what, what can we do? And we went down the list. And then we're like 25% of the stuff like we could do. And the other 75% we can't do. And we're like, we can wing it. And um, we asked, oh, I was a kid. I asked the police officer, are you, are you serious? Are you dead serious? Like if, if, if we can do these things, we can live by ourselves with no parents as kids. He, they were like, "Yep, <laughs> so I'll let you in, and you can you, like you're gonna sit down and so be official." And they're like, "Yep." And so you tell my you tell my grandparents to leave. <laughs> you tell them to leave as soon as they're gone. I'll let you in the house. Because I thought they were tricking. I was like, "As soon as I open the door, they're gonna make us get my grandparents' car." So I had my grandparents leave. I, literally, they had my grandparents leave. Um, we worked out a thing. I let them. I let the the officers in the house, and um. They literally worked out a schedule where they came and checked on me and my brothers. Um, it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. Very nice. Yeah. Awesome. You guys got to live by yourselves. Yeah, I, we lived by ourselves quite a bit as kids. Quite a bit. When I, so that was that was when I was um, that was when I was like thirteen, twelve, or thirteen. When I was. Um, <clears throat> Four or five years old, um, Immaculate Heart of Mary, this church, offered to buy my parents a house. I was just a little kid. Um, if if we promised to go to church, so we had to go to church. And, there, and um, they gave my dad a job at um, uh, the Forest Service, working for the Forest Service. Um, my mom got a job working in a hospital. Um, all we had to do was like you know be good people, go to church and stuff. And um, I can't like. I can't remember what happened again. Like um, the 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 fire department, the police department came. And it's the same thing. Uh, this time it was like uh, some other. I can't remember the 
the name of the people. It says you can go live with these people or you can live by yourself and it'll be the hardest thing you ever did in your life. You'll have to do this, this, and this. Someone's going to have to make sure you check in for homework, all, all these things. And uh, literally, <laughs> so make the deal. okay, here's the deal. So what do I got to do? It, um, and they would come and make sure, like, we were just little kids, man. They'd come and, because uh, we would forget to lock the doors. <laughs> they would come and, like, shake the shake the door, scare the, really, shake the door, scare the little piss out of some out of us. We, one of us would run and lock the freaking door. And then they'd knock on the window, like, da, 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 and you like, I said, you're supposed to lock that door, man. That was part of the deal. Do the windows. <laughs> you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to take out the trash. We had an alleyway. You're supposed to take out the garbage. We had to do it all of ourselves. What's it called? Uh, that movie, Boss Baby. You see that movie, Boss Baby? Oh yeah. I'm so. Yeah. So we. Uh, 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 um, just a minute, babe. I'm taking a few minutes. <laughs> I love you, man. Spoil. <laughs> uh, yeah, Boss Baby. So. Once me and my brothers got a routine down for, for living by ourselves and take care of all, all, all kinds of stuff, man, we'd already gotten some, like, autism assessments or something. I called my brother my computer. <laughs> it was like my little computer. But um, it was pretty interesting. I got to um, – I started calling the military, uh, uh, Marvin, for everything. I called the police department for everything. So they got me speaking. And I was like, well, you know. They got me speaking. I didn't like their whole thing was like, you, now, why you got me speaking? They're like, because we want to talk to you. And literally, you think about this, Marvin, you don't speak. And I like spent all like, because I, I want to talk to you and you can finally speak and then you won't shut up. Like all you'll do is like you call me 24 seven, seven days a week, three, three or 65 days a year. Like, like, oh my God, what did I do? I'm sure that's what they were thinking. They're like, what did we do? What did we do? Man, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Sorry, I get off. This is my all, all sidetracked. My wife's doctor's thing. What, what, what would you do? Honestly, I would just focus a hundred percent on my wife. My wife's the most important thing to me. She's my number one priority. Yeah. Plus, I like. I honestly, when they sent me the email, I did not have the list of like. I didn't realize. Like when when I have my surgeries, Marvin. Not. I, I'm not trying to like. Like I get a surgery, like they, like they work on my neck. I come home on my lawn. What? I, I think I live in a different reality than most people, and, and so then I expect it. Like, you know, my wife gonna have surgery. We're gonna go home. So I was like a day or two, and and you know, and, so, and she's telling me the doctor says I gotta be off for six weeks, and I'm just like six weeks. I'm like they did heart surgery on me, and and I, like. They had me working in the in the next day. And I was like, I had necks. I, look, I was like, I had necks. I had my, uh, my neck with a Dremel, Dremel my neck out. I I went work. I worked within an hour of 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 leaving the operating room. I went to work and out within an hour of uh, operating room. So as I had my had my my adenoids, my uvula, and my tonsils removed, all like a massive surgery for some stuff. I I drove myself like I had it. At, Six in the morning, five in the morning, and I made it to work at seven o'clock. They tore all this stuff out. I made it to work, and the, my work was like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "They said I could." So you chose to go to work, or did they call you in? Uh, it was, they never. I never had a restriction. I have autism. Oh, okay. See what I'm saying? They don't treat you like so. You know, like you think about like somebody in the in the um, in the military for say you, you're you're running four miles, you, you you hurt your feet, you get a cramp. They say here's some dry socks and some Motrin, right? Move along. You hurt your leg at school, completely different story, right? You got to go see the nurse. You might need to go see a doctor. There's some things that need to, depending on, on 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 how your lifestyle is. Mine was always just like they, it wasn't a big deal. Me having surgery is not a big deal. You know what I mean? I've had, but I've had a lot. Like I've had my, I've had my nerves in, in my neck cauterized, down my spine cauterized, so I can move my arms. So I won't be paralyzed. 
and like and, and those are like everything there's like you know they go so they can say here's the restrictions you know you, you for the worst the medium and the best you know like so i always think like the eight weeks and all that seems like the most worst person because when i have my stuff they're like you're good to go i mean i didn't like you, you think about it, uh, for my international foster kids like i had to I had to drive them home from Seattle after I had neck surgery. Uh, I'm going to get off, Jose. Oh, hold on. Tell me what your advice is, Jose, first, and then I'll get off. And then, Marvin, what's your advice? <laughs> wife? Yeah, wife. Definitely wife. You you guys make make so, 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 uh, some some videos <laughs> and field it for me to see if I, if if I used to have like I used to have um, I swear my my wife we used to have a one eight hundred number we could call for all this help but it's been disconnected for a long time. Wife, stay home with the wife. Yeah, definitely. All right. And then, like I said, I do have, like I said, I'm recovering from a traumatic brain injury, so it is beneficial for me to check with other people. So I'm going to get off, yeah. though. God, God bless. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know what the, what, what, what the update is later. Okay. Bye, Martin. Have a good day. Mario Chavez, ask for the extension after the holidays. I'm going to ask for that, for that, because <laughs> I've never asked for it. Here's the thing. I've never missed anything. Like, literally, they, I, try to, I try to go for everything, and I go extra. <laughs> So God bless guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye Martin.